Since we're here anyway, I think we might as well just continue onwards. I was going to stop here, but I kind of like doing this part because we got a couple of explosives here and two unawares assholes that we can go get. I like killing the left guy first, though, because the right guy usually doesn't even notice, or maybe he does. He just doesn't even care. There we go. Oh, and he goes flying. Oh, man, that was awesome. I was not <laughs> expecting him to just go soaring above our heads. Now all this stuff is being burnt. We got to extract it before it's all unusable and burnt, especially these bullets here. I don't know. Where did that other guy go? <laughs> I was, I guess, he doesn't have his hat where he is, unfortunately. Okay. Well, whatever. We don't really need him because there's a corpse in here with money. And we also got ourselves a safe. Nope. I said we got ourselves a safe. All right. There we go. So we hacked the shit out of that. And now we've got some stuff that we can't carry. Napalm and first aid kits. We might come back for it. We might not. This is seriously at the point in the game where you shouldn't even be remotely worried about your well-being especially on easy if not normal I mean we're playing on hard and we're already we're already good as we go so heading down over here we got ourselves some of this stuff in wait a second there was there was a briefcase here I thought I saw it out of the corner of my eye and I was like hmm okay so over here I think okay this part we've got ourselves a turret yes Ooh, freeze See, using your liquid nitrogen with its far ass range was perfect for this area a couple more over here and then I think there's actually a camera and I got a body. All right, so here we've got the gatherer's garden. I think we might as well just, you know, go all out. Now, I haven't really made much note of it, but I don't think I'm going to get everything. Like, I'm going to kind of stay away from the stuff we don't really need. God damn it, there's... Ugh, I don't know what I want in this one. Security evasion is pretty good. We might go back for that. I think we have two somewhere, but whatever. We'll go, uh, shit, and this one's kind of annoying, too, just for the alarm stuff. This is at the point where you don't really need to worry too much. This is where you're just going to want to go for brute strength and stuff like that. All right, so some of this stuff, like, you know, we got the winter frost. So we got number three, even though we never bought number two, and it's really good to do that. Especially, same thing with Electro Bolt and probably incinerate as well. Now, stuff that I'm not really going to be like using, like Cyclone Trap and all this nonsense down here that we don't even care about, I'm, I'm not even going to bother with that because there's no point to it. There's an achievement to, you know, buy them all and stuff, and it's a lot easier if you're playing on hard, but um, I probably are playing evilly, I should say. But you get roughly the same amount, so I'm going to go ahead and just buy Enrage because these are really cheap too, and I think I might actually end up switching it out for uh, security because... Security kind of sucks. We haven't used it too much in Target Dummy. That one's kind of dumb, but it's not its not really useful at all, actually. I don't know why I bought it. It's, it's just because I have money. But with that being said and done, our main plasmids are now completely leveled up. And I, re I remember saying early on that we did get Telekinesis 3. That's not until Bioshock 2. Sorry. Spoilers, we do use plasmids in Bioshock 2, and I got confused. And in that game, you can't take pictures of little sisters, which is why I was confused early on in this one. So I apologize. Um, so for this, I'm going to go and switch it out for Enrage because it's... Wait a second. We have we have Big Daddy 2 hypnotized. I think I might actually take this one instead. Um, hopefully it doesn't come to bite me in the ass when I do, though. And I think we're good. I didn't buy Sonic Boom 2, though. I probably should have done that, but I don't really care much for it since it looks exactly the same. All right, Hacker's Delight. I've noticed something. When we hack something, when we auto-hack something, it doesn't take our health. It doesn't give us health, so I kind of fucked up on that. I apologize. So some of this stuff, I don't know what I want. I was thinking about maybe, you know, starting to go with the wrench run, but I was playing it, and it wasn't really all that great. So we got Security Evasion, and um, was that? That was... There we go. Okay. And... I think for these ones, for the uh, fucking engineering tonics, like the hacking stuff, the stuff that makes things easier to hack sucks. So we're going to take those away and make them so that we can do stuff with alarms. So that alarms... Uh, fucking, I thought I had another one, but I guess not. And here, eh, I'm going to take this away. Probably damage research is probably one of our best ones because we'll get damage research too later. And it'll just make you know enemies die so much quicker. So, And there's that other camera over there. So, there should be a guy. Oh, there is a guy right underneath him. I completely forgot about that. All right. So, let's go ahead and get frozen and freeze. Okay. Now, this guy's got to... Woo. Oh, that was a nitro splicer. I forgot we didn't finish these guys yet. Okay. So, we got to make sure we get these guys. I thought we just had the turrets and that's it. Turrets and the bouncers, I guess. Ugh. Okay. So, here we've got this thing that we can't really do much with. If you want to, you can go to, like, other places with that one. But just know that... You're not going to want to do that. It's a little pointless uh, here. And I think before the end, I'm going to go back and probably get all the health upgrades in the other places we missed. God damn it, die, will you? <laughs> this guy is not making it easy for us. Okay. Well, he's dead now. At least. 
Thank you for reimbursing us with our bullets that we shed into your face. Got shotgun bullets right here anyway. Okay. Huh. Now, usually there is supposed to be a big daddy in this area. I don't know where he decided to go in this course of venturing. But, of course, he's not going to show up when we get here the first time. So, uh, got all that. The turret's going crazy over there. Probably killing someone. What are you shooting at? There's actually... Oh, it's a nitro splicer. Die! Oh, no, it's a fungus splicer. Okay. Or did he kill my turret? Damn it. <sighs> Fucking piece of shit. All right, well, let's head into the bar here and collect ourselves a nice little diary of drunken lullabies. Okay, thank you very much for that, Su Chong. So, anyway, here we've got the big daddy. Now, something <laughs> I, I kind of realized, like, early on, like when I first played this game, for the very last boss, it is amazing to have your chemical thrower with the electric gel. Now, I've already stated its goodness over the course of this game, somewhat, I guess. I've been kind of not... Ooh, I won, almost didn't kill her. Okay, or it almost, it almost killed her, I should have said. But anyway, the electric gel, just make sure you have a lot of that for the boss and for big daddies from now on, since that's basically a surefire way. In a single, you know, I guess a clip, then <laughs> that's all it needs to kill it. So down in this area, we're going to go ahead and probably just be a little bit careful since this asshole right here. All right, you know what? You know what? We've got ourselves. All right, let's see. What do we got? Oh, yes. Okay, good. That's what I wanted to grab. That was perfect. All right. Cool, cool story, bro. God, sorry. I need. I probably do need to take a break. I kind of just got really tired. And now I'm just. Uh, but now we have to beat Apollo Square, and Apollo Square isn't the longest level. It's actually quite short, all things considered. God damn it! Damn it, Frank Fontaine. Oh. Well, gee, thanks. God, this guy's an asshole. He just taunts us all over again. Like, he used to be our buddy, and then he went in and betrayed us. God. He's kind of a lousy villain, though, I'll admit. He's he's a piece of shit villain. And, you know, I didn't really talk much about this, but, you know, as far as story-wise goes, I thought this game was amazing until probably post-Arcadia, where it just kind of goes downhill. Now, I think it's kind of good for what it's going for right now, but it's it's kind of pathetic, in my opinion, and it's, it's kind of a shame that it went... You know, downhill so much because this fucking story is interesting as hell to me. So we're gonna go and take out this Rosie, this Rosie O'Donnell. All right, so we got any bodies around here that we can go and use, or explosions, or nothing of the sort. Uh, there should be. Uh, did we just go? I think we just went. No, we didn't go backwards. Okay, we'll just use this one because this one is near. And if I swear to God, you fucking piece of shit, don't you dare, don't you dare run into my explosion. Okay, put you right there. Uh, stop it. Okay, so we got full frag grenades. Frag granadas. Oh, no, no! Ah! Okay, you know what? God damn it, you... Ah! Okay, uh, this guy, I swear to fucking Christ. See, this is this is what happened last time. In, oh, ah! uh, you suck. Get... Okay, yeah, go in the water, you piece of shit. Yes, now I will go ahead and electrocute the fuck out of you. Whichever one of those is was. Ugh, there. He's dead. God damn it. That was really irritating. Okay. Exploding buck. Okay. Shut up. No. Nitro Splicer. You can get your picture taken and you can shut the hell up. Oh, God. You know, I, I should just equip the other photographer's eye just to get this shit out of the way with. Because it's really irritating to have to deal with this. Come on. Alright. Let's go ahead. There we go. Oh, how did she get... Is, is there water falling there? Or I can't even tell. There is water. God damn it. <laughs> she is smart, nifty AI. Watch it. Okay, I didn't want to hit the big daddy from behind. Where is she going? Whatever. We got ourselves a big daddy contest with. Uh, so at this point, it's just pretty much, you know, smooth sailing for killing these guys. Don't really got to worry about it. We find so many fragments. As you guys saw, we just find them on the floor. You know, wherever the hell we feel like. All right, so we got ourselves nice electricity. Oh, did I miss? All right. Okay, we're almost, he's almost dead. Nope, goes into the water. All right, there you go. Happy, happy. See, these guys, it was easily the first, the first one we saw was easily the most difficult one, so don't really have to worry too much about those anytime soon. God damn it, 
people are home now. I gotta hate talking when people are here. It's so annoying. Thank you, 10 out of 10 bomb. Oh, there you are. You're kind of shard up there. Perhaps there is a plasmid that can grow this virus. <sighs> Perhaps in your DNA, this secret life. I sent a little one with some goodies to help ease your birth. Thank you. God, I fucking hate it when people are here. You know what? I I, I just I would I would enjoy moving out soon, but I just I don't I make sh whoa! <laughs> I don't make nearly enough money to be able to, to have that be a viable option. So that'll have to come later when I can just make videos whenever I want. If I could do that, you know, most of the reason I don't make videos is because um, you know, other people are here and I don't really like you know like yelling or just talking or just acting the way I do. Like I I wouldn't say I'm inherently like like insane or immature while I'm doing this shit but it's like I would much rather be in an environment of solitary confinement rather than oh armored shell too we don't give a hell about you so um, I guess if you want to do that you could and more of the incendiary bolts okay so with this uh, yeah, we'll, go, we'll go we'll go back to it later we'll, we'll we have one more area that we can go to after this which is kind of irritating it's probably one of my more least favorite levels if not only for the I guess the quirk that it has going for it and it's just a kind of a spoiler but we do temporarily use it lose our abilities to control our plasmids which just gets fucking irritating as hell so up uh, okay okay whatever you say whatever you say there buddy but you're dead now do I need to do I need to kill you with the fucking pistol God damn it this guy's an asshole sort of god all right well wow how did we get an A on that that was such a bad picture okay are we okay he's they have to be so close to being done at this point there we go I remember on my practice file like I was I was almost treating it like this actual file so I was taking pictures of everything and I had the ooh we had a U invent here I had the uh, nitro splicers finished by the time we got out of Poseidon Plaza which was uh, what was what was the place uh, fucking Fort Frolic <laughs> yeah one of my favorite places I can't even remember it all right so we got this nonsense uh, can't pick up the electric gel that means we're gonna have to use some here pretty soon Yep, that will not be a problem. I just want to use my grenades first since our grenades are more practical against big daddies. I don't really enjoy using them too much on normal enemies. <laughs> so, all right, so now let's actually continue on, shall we? Yes, let us. Every time I say shall we, I always think of, I don't know, uh, Steven Vlog. If you guys ever watch him, he's always like, all right, we'll meet again back here tomorrow, shall we? Or whatever he says that it feels like I say. So over here we've got some nitro, uh, nope, never mind. They're both nit or both leadhead splicers, I guess. All right, these guys are gonna be assholes. Ooh, yeah, right as I say, the impracticality of using frag grenades on regular enemies. Here we are. Gonna just waste a couple there. We got them at least. See, when I when I say that, I mean just like you know, singular enemies. All right, so right here, we're gonna probably go and take out this fucking camera that's being a dick bag. But okay, we did we did get all the subject. Okay, so we're good on that, and we don't want the. Okay. So we'll just use regular bullets on it since we have so many of them. See, at this point. You're good for the rest of the game. You don't need to equip anything else. You can just run right through it. Don't even need to care to listen to the audio diaries. But you could if you want, I suppose. It's it's to kind of enrich the story and its characters. Which Su Chong at this point seems to be, you know, the center of it all. Talking about, you know, plasmids and little sisters and big daddies and, you know, ways to improve them. How to harvest Adam. He's like a fucking mad scientist. Like to a, like a worse degree than the other one that was here, so... All right, so I, I know there's a big daddy in here, so we're gonna get rid of this. There's a turret around here too. I'm pretty sure. I don't know where it is though. Maybe it's it'll come up in a second. I don't know, but we got a camera over here, and I hear someone else. So, uh, all right, he's dead. And uh, maybe. Oh wait, I think the turret actually comes out afterward. Never mind. So, I was I was slightly mistaken. We do see it, but just not right now. Okay. So where's that other dude? Ah, get ready for dream time. Oh, great. All right, well, whatever you say there, little sister. Won't you find another way to have a dream? All right, I just want to kill that other guy before I start fighting the big daddy because uh, shit's going to get real when we use it. And he's just whistling. He doesn't even care there's a big daddy boot. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this piece of shit, shall we? There you go. Stupid camera, you're dead. I ain't hacking none of you bitches again. Whoa, okay, just go completely off in the other direction again. What is this, Sonic 06? Just kidding. Okay. So, ooh, he's right there. He was, he was drawn to the gunfire. He was like, I hear guns, but must run to it. And we got ourselves a nice power to the people here. Now, now, for the chemical thrower to get its shit up. All right, so I think we're actually going to do the... Eh, I, I want to go for the consumption rate. 
And I think that actually is what we're going to go for since, you know, that's basically more ammo. Um, it basically doubles it, so... We got this. I think this one has hacking. Uh, no, it doesn't. Damn it. But at least we have this nonsense that we don't really need. Okay, we're good to go. All right, Big Daddy. Are you, you guys, this is so fun to kill people like this because it's just so, like, ridiculously easy. But frag! Ah, 